Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is going to be a video on the perfect way to get the perfect settlement that you've always been dreaming of. All right, so you just started the game. You don't know how to get a settlement or, talk, or a city or your own town or anything like that. This is the video for you. So once you've gotten to the space anomaly, and if you don't know how to do that, link up top and down below in the description on how to get there from the beginning of the game. But once you get here, you're gonna have to head way back into the back. This is where all the uh, shops are. This is where the kiosk is. This is the most important thing. It'll make your life a ton easier once you have to you have to buy an upgrade for your starship. Specifically, we're gonna be buying the economy scanner because the economy scanner helps you out in a ton of ways. But the biggest way is it'll help you find a trade outpost and we're gonna need to do that in order to get our uh, our settlement or right, find our settlement so once you get back here the uh starship upgrade kiosk is right here on the left this cool guy right here hyperion with the cool horns he will sell you some upgrades for your ship now once you get in here you're gonna need some nanites in order to do it obviously look i have no upgrades because i just started my save but what you're really focused on is right over here on the left. You can buy any of these you want, but I would focus over here, especially for this. If you want a, a settlement, if you want to get a town or a city in your game, you're going to need this. So get your teleport receiver. You have to buy it because there, it's a tree, and so you have to buy this before you can get your economy scanner. Now, once you have that, you can unlock the ability to buy your economy scanner. That was 150. This is going to be 150 nanites, so you need 300 nanites in order to get the economy scanner. So let's get that one. And we are going to need a micro pro we need five microprocessors and one wiring loom, but that's okay because our next pit stop is going to be at the space station. So let's go head over to the space station right now. Now, once you get to the space station, there's a couple of things you're going to be getting from here. We have to come here no matter what, because this is where you're going to get your settlement maps. Those are a brand new thing in No Man's Sky with the Frontiers update. But the other thing we're going to need is if you go over here, you go to your install technology menu, which is X on Xbox One, or if you're on PlayStation, that's going to be square. Once you have all of that, you can see, oh, we have our economy scanner right here. We can install it, but we're going to need five microprocessors and one wiring loom. Let's install it. We don't have any of our ingredients yet, but we will. So you can make a microprocessor in your, your uh, build menu in your general inventory. So if you press A while you're in your inventory or X if you're on PlayStation, it'll bring up your build menu right here. And it, we go through all the stuff we know and you look for our microprocessor right there. We need 40 chromatic metal and one carbon nanotube in order to do that. I'm very low on car or uh, chromatic metal, so I'm not going to be able to do that because we need five of them. Remember that. So the easier way to do it is just to buy it while you're here. So let's talk to one of these pilots right over here. Hey, buddy, you got any uh, microprocessors or wiring loom? Wiring loom? You have to buy it. You cannot make wiring loom. It's not possible to make it. You have to buy it from either a pilot or a space station or a trading outpost. So let's buy the item. And then we have our microprocessors right here. We need five of those. So that's going to be about 95,000 bucks. If you don't have enough money, I have a, I have a r amazing video for you. Link up top to a video that is going to show you how to make a ton of money in the early game without even having very much items at all. So link up top to that. So you make a ton of money, but we're going to need 95,000 for the microprocessor. And then we're going to need one wiring loom. So we need 45000 So you need about $140,000. And that price might be adjusted depending on the economy in your system. Every system is going to fluctuate up and down. It's going to be generally around this price. It might be up by five or, you know, down by five. So it might actually cost you forty or 50000 depending. But it'll be somewhere around here. So let's buy one of those. So now we can make our economy scanner so let's install that real fast while we're here so we go back to our economy scanner that we put in there it's not working because we didn't have the ingredients before 
But if you select it, it'll say, hey, you have the stuff now. Let's install it. So we're installing that one and the uh, microprocessor. Boom. There you go. So now we have an economy scanner installed. So now the other, the more important thing you need to get for this to work is you need a settlement map. So there's a whole bunch of requirements for this the whole thing to work. You're going to need a lot of money. You need to buy some technology. You also need to buy the settlement map. And the settlement map is actually going to require you to have navigational data. You can find navigational data all over the place. Hey, yep. They're asking me. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to speak your language. But there are different options here. You want to go to exchange specific charts right here. That option. And there's a whole bunch of different charts for you to find different settlements or different buildings on a planet. You can buy, you can find a secure site, which is a manufacturing facility. You can find a distress beacon, which is like a crashed ship or maybe a crashed freighter. Or way down at the bottom now, we have a settlement chart. But again, it takes five navigational data in order to get it. So we're going to need to get... And I would recommend get as many as you can. I have a few, so I can get three. I'm going to get three charts. But if you can only get one, it'll still be okay. We still have a way to do it. Now, now that we've got all our materials, for the most part, we have one more stop to make before we can look for a settlement. So let's head down out into space, and I'll show you what we need to do. So once you're in space, the thing you want to do is... Let's go into, uh, oh, wait, wait, actually, down on your D-pad. Go all the way over to this gear icon that says utilities. You press, you know, up, select that one before it defaults out. And then now you have an option to scan for a trading outpost. We need to go to a trading outpost because we're going to need some materials in order to claim a settlement. So let's head on over here. This is where our trading outpost is. Let's go on over there. So here we are. This is a trade outpost. These are randomly placed all over the place. And so you can find them on your own. If you're just flying low, you'll be able to see them. But the easier option is to use an economy scanner. That's why we got it. It'll point you exactly where you need to go. Whereas if you were just flying around, you might be flying around for a while before you find one because they're randomly, randomly placed all over the place. But it's not a guarantee you're going to find one immediately. And the other thing we're going to have to do is we have to go over to our pilots because on a trading outpost, your pilots will sell you special items. This is a Corvax system, obviously, because we have a Corvax pilot right here. And so if we're trying to find a settlement here, we're going to need to buy a Corvax special item. So let's go to buy items. And always at the top, you'll see they have their special items here. Either one, you're gonna, you might need either one of these. So I would always recommend buy as many as you can. I would say probably three of each. And so you're, again, you're gonna need some money. So make sure you have enough money to buy this stuff. I'm gonna buy three Corvex casing and three of the Corvex convergence cubes. Now, it's gonna look different for different races. So if it's a Gek system, you're gonna be looking for. Gek Nip or Nip Nip or Gek, uh, any kind of Gek specialty item. Same thing for the Viking. You're going to need a Viking dagger or something like that. So depending on the race, it will change. But you need one of those specialty items. I would say get both just to be safe. If you can't afford both, make sure you uh, save the location of this trading outpost because you're going to have to come back once you know which one you need to get. So I will go inside. Now that we have our items, what you want to do is fly to the planet you want to find your, uh, your settlement, your outpost on. Your settlement, your city, your town, whatever you want to find. Make sure it's the planet you land on. So, let's say I want to go land on this planet. This planet looks like a really good one over here. This is the one I want. So, let's just land here real fast. Now, land on the planet you want to have your settlement on. And when you get out, you'll see it says restore point saved. That means you just made an auto save. So we have a save file right when we got out of our ship, which is a great thing because sometimes these maps are a little finicky and they won't work. 
I'm a little bit worried about it, but let's see. We have three maps. Well, let's fire it off by pressing X if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation. Oh, it worked. First time it worked. But the bigger point is you want to make sure that the uh, settlement is on the planet you want. Let's see. Where is it at? It's not. It's on that planet up there. That's okay, though, because we just made a save. Let's reload our save and try again. So if you pause, go over to your options and reload your autosave. Let's try it again. Up, oh, reload it again. We're right here. So, and remember, guys, this will actually... I have my three maps right here. This is actually looking for a randomized settlement. So it won't be the same exact one every time. But if you try to, like, if I try to scan again, it'll keep finding the same one. So, up, oh, it found that one again over there. Okay. But if I fire off another map, like, watch. If I fire another map off, like, try to find a different settlement, I don't like that one. Boom. That one didn't work. Let's try to find it again. Didn't work again. So I'm out of luck. And because I already have one marked, it will just keep marking the same settlement so that's why we're reloading our save because it has to reset everything because now it, it knows that there's a settlement there it will always show you the same one over and over so let's reload again all right we reloaded let's go back in here oh come on find one on this planet i want it on this planet i mean not really but you know what i mean if you land on a planet you want it to be on the planet you landed on right Let's see. You're not showing me anything. Is it up there? Man, it keeps doing that. So just keep firing those things off. Notice how it was on that planet. It was over there. It's over there. So just keep firing them off. I think I chose the wrong planet because this is an airless planet, right? Yeah. It literally is the worst planet to pick. Do not pick an airless planet like I just did because how are you going to have a settlement on a planet that has no air on it? Obviously, because let me look at my gravity's really low. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I'm dumb for choosing that. So, yeah, you're not going to find one on an airless planet. But if you did find one here, like if I did want to go to that settlement over there, let me show you guys what to do once you get to the settlement. So, let me show you guys. Once we get up here, hey, I found out, hey, I like this planet, this settlement. This one on this planet looks really good. Let's go. So, yeah, look at this thing. This uh, settlement's looking pretty sweet. I definitely want to pick it. Let's go over here. Okay, you know, I like these alien egg-looking plants. They're really good. Uh-oh. Outpost status vulnerable. Let's see what's going on here. So now, yep, we get our uh, tutorial on how to get a, a become an overseer. How to take over a... Uh, a settlement right here. Boom. And we have to talk to this guy over here. Hey, what's going on, man? Traveler entity. And we don't know what he's saying. Because we don't know his thing. The settlement must be the source of the distress signal. Oh, look at that. It gave me the uh, mission even though I didn't even activate the mission. Okay, that's okay. Ask about the distress signal. Before I can speak, I hear the wall of wail of a siren. A hostile buzz descends upon the town. So, this is activating the mission for a settlement, which is awesome. That works out for me. Now we have to take out some uh, some sentinels. So let's go do that. I don't have any weapons, so this might take me a little while. We're gonna fast forward through this. I should have had a weapon. <laughs> wow. Okay. So definitely have a uh, weapon of some kind. Don't use your mining laser for that because that takes forever. But we uh, we finally we took out some sentinels. Oh, I took out my first five sentinels. There you go. So there you go. And we're gonna go talk to him. Don't know. Okay. But now that we've defeated the sentinels, just uh, talk with the settle. Okay, right over here. Okay, they marked the. Uh, Settler I'm supposed to talk to over here. Let me get up here. Oh, he's way up there, of course. So we gotta go up the stairs and talk to him. Come on. 
Oh, is he going downstairs? He knew I was coming up here. Come on, man. Stop moving. I got to talk to you. There you are. Whole bunch of stuff I don't even know about. The Corvex buzzes, grateful for the assistance, but it's clear they are tired, worn down from the fight. If no one helps them, I fear their settlement will not last much longer. Okay. Let's do it. So, what was that guy doing? Whoa, okay, he was spinning around. Well, let's go. We need to talk. We need to go to the middle monolith in the, in the center of the settlement. So let's go over here. And this is where you want to make your decision. You can only have one settlement at a time, so keep that in mind. You can only have one settlement at a time. Overseer status, deceased or missing. Okay, let's apply to be the overseer. Now, this is where you make the decision right here. If you're looking at it and it looks good, like this is a B-level settlement, if productivity is almost there, so actually this is a really good starter one. Because then you're going to be able to upgrade the buildings and m increase the happiness and the productivity. And so there you go. It's pretty close. Now, I would say I would go with this one personally. This would be the first one I would choose. Because the productivity is 141, it makes 141,000 a day, but it costs 159 to maintain it. So they're actually going negative, but it's not that much. I've seen it to where the maintenance cost was over 300,000. And they were only making 30000 a day. You do not want a settlement like that because it's going to take a long time to become profitable. The whole goal is to become profitable because once the settlement becomes profitable, they will actually give you items because they're making extras after that when it's become profitable. So this one should be easy to turn profitable after a couple of upgrades. So I would go with it and you can... Submit management credentials to become the overseer down here. Now, sometimes they will require special materials. That's why I went to the trading outpost. And so if it's a Corvax system, they might ask for the convergence cube or something like that. It's basically they will ask you for payment. But because I saved them from the Sentinels this time, they're not asking for payment. They're just like, hey, look, you saved us. Become our overseer and we will we'll just give it to you for free. You don't even have to pay us. So that's how you do it, and boom! Settlement management request granted. There you go, and now we can start upgrading. Now the first thing you're gonna have to do is you have to build your office. And so that's what you have to do. This will be the first building you make over here. And so we're gonna have to actually start constructing this office. And eventually you can construct a marketplace. You can construct a saloon. You'll have to actually answer disputes between settlers. like. They're going to be in arguments, and you'll have to decide what to do. So I can't wait for you guys to jump in and have your own settlement. So hopefully you guys liked the video. And if you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I'll see you guys next time.